Walking in to the Natural History Museum at the University of Zurich, one is greeted by this amazingly cool life-size platyosaurus. This sauropodomorph is based off of the specimen right here that is actually displayed next door to it. This is a complete specimen. Notice that shredded shoulder right in the middle right of the screen. That thing prevented it from walking quadrupedally. So we know these things could live as bipedal animals. And there is evidence of healing suggesting that this animal had some kind of major damage to its shoulder and yet continued living life. This is one of the most spectacular skeletons I have ever had the pleasure to see. It was excavated out of the ground and left more or less as it was. The, the skeleton is essentially complete. A few of the caudal vertebrae are, are missing down at the tail end. That pelvis is beautiful. The hind limbs show the splayed position where it fell over and died, probably in a droughty time of year, and then was buried because it just couldn't make it to the end to get the water and food. The tail, that is not a natural break. That is a taphonomic issue. And there's the tip missing the last few vertebrae we suspect, but maybe not. We don't have a complete one to compare to, but this is pretty darn close. My goodness. As you can see, I was really enjoying myself that afternoon staring at the tail and how all of that musculature would have provided it some great defense and movement capabilities.